Thank you very much. Kirk Gunmiller from Marion Local joins us. This segment courtesy of Hometown Opportunity. Coach Gunmiller got a very late start again with the football championship run. Even later this year, what was it, December 17th was your first game or 18th? Yeah, I think they backed it up a week. So, uh, yeah, I think it was a week later than even normal uh, with winning the state football championship. But uh, we're kind of used to that. Now, you guys got off to such a great start. Your size is a tough matchup for, for many teams in Division IV in particular, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know. It's a situation where we did get off to a good start. Mm -hmm. uh, we've kind of hit a little bit of a swoon here uh, in the mid-January and February. Uh, but yeah, you know, we think uh, if we get it right that we're capable of making a run. How much fun is it to coach 6'10", 6'7", 6'6", and then some guards that can really put the ball in the basket when they're hitting their threes, it's tough to defend. Yeah, uh, it, it is fun, you know, it's enjoyable. Uh, the one thing you get a lot of times is, you know, we're getting beat on underneath pretty good right. and, and we we have to learn to meet that physicality inside and and I think we will it's just a learning process and and we're trying to figure out what works best you know when teams are doubling us and trying to kick things out and mm -hmm. and, and, and maybe repost and things of that nature but we're looking at some different things to hopefully be even more effective in the future. Your sectional matchup we'll get to the draw in a minute but first got to talk going against coach Lee once again you were on his staff I first met you in the Minster baseball box keeping score and your son was putting the balls and strikes up great connection at Minster teaching there as well is that special going against him especially in the postseason or has it gotten to the point where you're kind of used to it? Well this is a first in terms of going in, in okay. the postseason um, you know when I when we play in the regular season you know, it's not a game I love simply because I still teach there and I uh, uh, teach, have taught all those kids and right. even coached a lot of them. So it's not something I terribly enjoy. <laughs> but, you know, we knew that at some point when I took the job at Marion, we knew this was going to happen. And so now it's just a situation where, you know, we're going to compete. And I know Minster's going to compete really hard and may the best team win. Super interesting section of those top three seeds because going in, to Saturday, it was that number one seed, number two seed, really up for grabs. Fort Recovery's put together a great year, but they lost on Saturday. Uh, a tough foe, uh, Northmont. You came up to Spencerville. A lot going on on Saturday night and a Sunday, wasn't there? Yeah, you know, going into it, I thought, you know, Fort Recovery and us were probably the two seeds, but I also knew, you know, Spencerville had been doing such a great job with their youth throughout the year, mm -hmm. and they were kind of lying in the weeds, and then you, you pinpointed that game right before the sectional draw, yeah. and you knew that might be a, a, a deal breaker. And, and give Kevin's kids credit, you know, they just made shots last night, and, you know, they, they really played well, and, and they took over the game in the second half. And we made a late run to make it close, but uh, give Kevin's kids credit because, uh, you know, they pulled it out, and they pulled out a two seed. The Fort Recovery storyline, you play them at the end of the season for the regular season. Could be a MAC championship on the line for them. For you, you have one loss. They're undefeated in the MAC. You could play them again in the sectional final. You beat them last year in the sectional opener. Pretty familiar with Fort Recovery. Well, you know, it's one of those teams you don't, you know, we don't play them till the end of the year, so you don't, you don't know a whole lot of them until you get into this point. Now mm -hmm. all of a sudden you got to start investigating, and I'm sure they'll do the same thing. But sure. uh, you know, we still play. Coldwater on Tuesday, and then we play Parkway on Friday, and neither of those games are going to be gimmies, both on the road. Yeah. But, you know, we'd like to be able to put ourselves in a position to make that game meaningful at the end of the regular season. And then you get in a situation where possibly if we can get by Minster, we'd have to play them back to back. <laughs> and, you know, it's, you know, you play that game of how much do you show versus how much don't right. you show. And when there's a league title on the line, you certainly want to do most of what you can to win the game. Yeah, you certainly play for it. Marion Local's been in that position before in football. Uh, Anna and Marion always seem to play each other late in the season, and they played each other in the postseason as well. We'll see how basketball goes. Kirk Gunnar Miller, thanks for stopping by. Thanks.